In December, WGN Morning News celebrating its 19th annual toy drive. Part of the donations helped benefit Christmas in the wards. This year's toy drive was virtual and drop off allowing for your dollars to be put to work as grants for two local charities. And today we're learning more about the Christmas in the wards mission for 2022. Christmas in the wards executive director Latoya Huggins is joining us now. Welcome. Good morning so, or good afternoon. Good afternoon. So glad to have you on this Wednesday. Yeah. Tell us a little bit, share if you would, what the, the purpose of your organization is. What's the mission? Well, the mission is really to include and make sure that we're serving all of Chicago lands communities. And it's really helping with educational technology and providing needs and necessities for families that struggle, particularly in marginalized communities. And we know that every single ward has sure. those those challenges so we really try to support families and students throughout chicago every christmas so practical application is you uh, the whole family is involved but you obviously you're catering to some of the younger ones in the house too right we are so we what we do is we kind of have three segments right we have where we get a needs list from all of our families and we shop for winter clothes and food and those type of things and then we have our big Christmas Spectacular where we provide the toys for the younger kids. And then the past two years, we've really done a Laptops on the Lane event. That's great. We're providing laptops to middle school and high school age students along with mentoring services to really help kids stay ahead. I love that. You know, yeah. obviously the future is with the kids <laughs> and the future is technology in so many different ways. Really Absolutely. must make you feel good and the other people involved in the organization when a kid gets that laptop, it's like, yes. Yeah, I mean, it's great to have every year where we have students come back and say, that helped me get through my first year of college or that was a really huge support in, in, in learning. So yeah, it's great to have, to be able to support. We know so many families have two, three, in some cases, sure. four children, um, and especially during the pan pan pandemic and as we recover, you still have that back and forth of hybrid learning. So educational technology is so important. Science, technology, yes. education, and math, that's where the jobs are down the road, right? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yes. So uh, we would like to present this check to you, if we could, please. Drum roll. <laughs> On behalf of... Uh, all of the uh, people here at uh, WGN-TV, the McCormick Foundation Charities as well, and all of, the, of you who have uh, helped out at home, we want to present this check to you, Christmas in the Wards, for $10,500, and that is money definitely well spent and well invested. Yes, thank you so much. WGN has been a fantastic partner. Every year you all have helped moderate our events and to be a WGN charity and to this 10,500 that's gonna go to get into all 50 wards, we're in 40 wards this year, but to really support Chicago families is so meaningful. Well, we're happy to be just a little part of that uh, winning formula. Yeah. And I know it's money well invested. So congratulations to you and yours, and you're going to rush off and deposit <laughs> that in the bank as soon as possible. Absolutely. An additional thanks to all of you at home, our viewers. We can't do it without your, your help on our WGN TV toy drive this past December. We look forward to doing more in the coming year. Thank you again for being here. We won't say goodbye just so long for now. For now. You can find out more about ChristmasInTheWards.com. And on behalf of Latoya, we will be right back.